So my name is Heather and um, about 18 months ago now I moved into the Adams Down and Splot area and I got to know different people in the community through um, my church and um, just my neighbours really and I guess I became far more aware of people who are um, seeking status here to live, asylum seekers and refugees and I got to know some girls who were um, some of them my age and some of them quite a bit younger and um, they were accessing English classes and some of them going to college but when it came to being physically active they weren't really doing much so I offered for them to come along to my netball club with me at the end of the season. Before I knew it we were registered with Welsh Netball, um, we were applying for funding from um, Your Amazing Project and various other things and we started a, a netball club for girls and women who were asylum seekers, refugees um, in, in Cardiff. Um, for one of the girls here, she's come over from Syria. She's walked for seven months with her mum and her brother. Um, they came over on a boat, um, which you would have seen on TV, and um, they nearly drowned. The mum nearly drowned on the boat because it capsized and they got rescued. And then she came um, on a freezer lorry from Calais over to France and they're here, they've been given their status because they fled awful, awful things. And for her, she was not sleeping well at all. And a few weeks into Netball, she said to me, Wednesday night is the one night that I sleep well. I sleep soundly because I've played Netball and I've had a good time with my friends um, and I, uh, you know, my body feels like it's done exercise. I go home and I can sleep. And, um, and that's true for many of the women here. Wednesday night's a night where they, they sleep well. Um, a lot of them, I don't see them. I see them out of netball and I don't see them just be free and who they are often. I catch glimpses of them laughing, but there's always a sadness and a heaviness in their heart because what they've been through and are going through is, is awful. And yet I see more than glimpses of them smiling, being happy, laughing, joking, banter, all the things that I see in my netball team, I see happen on their netball court. And when they get sassy, that's one of my favourite things because they're sassy because they feel comfortable and because they love playing netball. Um, so just all the benefits of sport these women are having and if anyone needs it, um, it's these girls and these women. 